Did you know India produces one third of the total spices production in the world? Hi, I'm Paramdeep Singh, co-founder of Field Assist. And in this episode of Pathfinders, I have a very special guest, Mr. Sudeep Goenka, who is a marathon runner, a TEDx speaker and director of Goldie Group. Goldie Group from Kanpur has quickly become the household name in this 80,000 crore spice market in India. Welcome, Sudeep Goenka. Thanks for being with us here today. So they say that uh, Friendship and business shouldn't be mixed together. Okay. But the whole foundation of Goldie Group is actually based on a legendary friendship, isn't it? So my father, Mr. Som Prakash Goenkaji, and my uncle, Mr. Sreen Kumar Guptaji, they are childhood friends. And it's the 57 year of friendship and 43 years of business together. Like any other friendship, we have never seen them very serious. Either they are laughing or they are fighting. <laughs> so, and the whole organization knows the kind of fun they have between themselves. But the question you asked, I think the element that lies between behind that friendship or any other relation is trust. And with that trust, we've been able to punch that tagline also in the last few years of Goldie Masale Jahanda Rishte Nitmanai. Okay, and I believe you you were fairly uh, at a young age, you know came into the family business after your studies in abroad. So you probably would have wanted to do a lot of things, initiating the change management. Probably there was some resistance. Tell me something more about There is a history to it. Uh, officially, I came to business in 2006. But I think we were blessed to be in the city of Kanpur. And back in our uh, age, days in school, we didn't have much to do. We never had a mall or multiplex in Kanpur. So our Childhood summer vacation was always a sales tour with mom and dad between me and my brother. So I think unofficially dad was very smart to inculcate that speed inside us to be a part of Goldie. And officially I went to uh, US in 2001 to Rochester, New York. Then I went to Georgia Institute of Technology, Atlanta, Georgia, where I did industrial and system engineering. And then I was lucky to be a part of the Coca-Cola World Headquarters as a uh, carbonated soft drink business analyst and that is where my father thought this curry is turning somewhere else <laughs> rather than a sabji masala it, is, it might turn into a Thai curry or an American burger so he <laughs> actually brought me back from Coke. Change management is not difficult but I can say a lot of things I had to learn and I had to unlearn Unlearned. the way it was done in US and there were differences there was a lot of struggle. I was not granted a cabin with a nice chair and a table like a director of the company. I was supposed to run the length and breadth of the country with my sales team. Sometimes go to the Sabji Mandi to see how the real spices and vegetables are procured. To the dispatch center to sit on the desk and understand the pains of the supervisor. And uh, But luckily our parents were uh, smart enough to give us a lot of freedom. So when you decided to become a national brand, how were you able to change the mindset of the team and shed off your regional tag? So how did you go about it? Chachu always says that doing a business is like running a marathon, where your stamina and speed has to be regulated all the time. If you run so fast, you lose your stamina and you can only go so far. If you run very slow, then you are wasting your stamina. It will eventually not take you there. So I think in our company, there was never a goal to be a local brand or a regional brand or a national brand or a global brand. It was always to do better from where we are. So, But yes, a time came when we realized now the time has come to change the gear. We were seeing a lot of movement happening in the spices industry. As you rightly said, it's a 80,000 crore company, uh, sorry, industry. I wish the company will become that one day. <laughs> very, very soon. But uh, only 30% is actually organized. So there is a lot of room and there's a lot of gap for to fill in. So a time came when we were primarily a general trade brand. And my elder brother, Akash, he was very adamant to make room into modern trade. He worked very hard for it. And eventually we would crack the deal with one of the top or the only modern trade that existed in India more than a decade back. And 
uh, I always believe that brand doesn't travel. People travel the brand along with them wherever they go. <laughs> we were getting demand from Maharashtra, Gujarat, uh, Karnataka. Then we realized a product has enough scope and acceptability that we need to expand ourselves to more retailers across the length breadth of the country and now worldwide. Let's turn the spotlight on you. You wear multiple hats, you know, uh, being a son, being a father, being an entrepreneur, mentor, leader. And at this point of time, what scares the hell out of you? Honestly, I as a person am never scared. And that is what my uh, wife also says many a times, you know, <laughs> that he's not scared. But being cautious is very important. And what was rightly said by respected Ratan Tata Ji many years back, it's like running a race with a spoon in your mouth and lemon on it. So you could run very fast and finish the race, but if lemon has fallen down, then there's no achievement. And this was one prime reason that I came back from US. Uh, historically, statistics say uh, the first generation is the creator. The second generation has to maintain and balance the organization. And if the second generation is able to do it, then the third generation really kicks it off to the highest level. The success rate of the third generation, and it is in, I think, is less than 3%. To answer your question finally, what scares me is only one thing to pass the baton to the next generation successfully not the land and building and fund or the money that we have. Now talking about the uh, you know, uh, group's growth itself, it's been phenomenal growth the last few years. Uh, in this whole, I will term it as a masaladar journey, you would have uh, taken risk which would have given a lot of mitha fall, but definitely there could be many uh, such things which could have turned a little bit tikha as well. I'm an ardent follower of Sadhguru, he always says the problem doesn't exist until you react to it and then it's all in your mind. Also, I, the Lai Lama says that human body is unfit for tension. So there has been struggles. Firstly, the struggle was to create your own space in the organization where the founders are your parent. Now the employees or the family members have seen us as little kids. So they could think, you know, the owner's son has now come and he's trying to boss us. And then you are compared with your elder. Mm. Secondly, uh, when two people are running the organization and suddenly five people come in the organization, there's a change. And like you are used to having dal chawal and suddenly paneer, matar paneer also comes and papad also <laughs> comes, achar also comes and you don't know which one to eat. So there was a, not a struggle but it's a learning and eventually with time we learned how to work with each other. Okay. Another struggle coming from the background of Coca-Cola, One North Avenue to 15 Oblique 40 Nayadans was a huge change, you know? huge struggle. I was helping in the decisions on millions of dollars and over here to take an approval for a 5,000 rupees holding was a challenge. I used to really feel that pain. Am I at the right place okay. at the right time? And I wanted to do MBA. My father told me I will make you do MBA in Kanpur. <laughs> uh, lastly, I've talked about the internal organization. We have more than 1700 distributors in the country. Yes, yes. And more than 700 of them have been handpicked by our elder. And we have an open door policy for all of them. So to attain their confidence was also difficult. Specifically, I want to know about a secret ingredient. When you have, you know, people for so long in the company, 20, 30, 40 years, and also the distributors, because new age distributors, second generation, third generation has always also been with you. There could be many reasons. Mm -hmm. The biggest reason we are blessed by the Almighty, that is probably there. People might be working harder than us, but we have not changed ourselves in terms of our relationships. We have not changed our communication pattern. We still have an open door policy for anyone and everyone in the organization. And lastly, we have kind of lived that trust 
with her vendors with her customers with her employees that no matter what we will not leave you we still have a system where one floor in the plant is dedicated to the laborers who been working since 40 years okay. today they are not able to run the automatic machines but we have an absolutely hygienic ethical process defined with sop that they still do manual packaging on the floor because their luck has contributed to our success okay. and my father and uncle always say that their luck and our luck is same and combined we form the dna uh, somebody could be the head somebody could be the hand somebody could be the leg of the body but in the entire body even one little tiny finger has its role to play true so this is where i think the biggest ingredient that we have that it's a very open culture and jahan le rishte banaye but uske baad unko nibhaye that is our usp okay this is very heartening to personally for me also to listen that kind of awareness or the sensitivity to the people's emotions i really have to ask you about this salman khan your association with salman khan what was the thought process going on behind how did you choose the celebrity that's a very good question and a while ago you asked me how did we shift from a local yes. regional to a national brand and this is where lot of discussion over the years was happening at our board room uh, we never had a celebrity and we thought our basket was enough to grow and there was lot of discussion celebrity or non celebrity which celebrity after a lot of discussions eventually salman khan was accepted uh, in the times where every other brand was having a female celebrity okay and we chose the male celebrity because our customers are housewives and our customers are will like salman khan more okay secondly the characteristic that salman portrays Uh, it's number one, a family man. Mm-hmm. Number two, he has himself been a tested over times, over decade. Yes. Uh, number three, he was the only celebrity we thought who appeals to masses and classes both, and that is where spices as a goldy spices as a product is consumed in the tier four city mm-hmm. and also at South Bombay. South Bombay. <laughs> so okay. we need a relationship there. There's no distinction between the. category of the product about technology also when you are talking about uh, your legacy so when exactly uh, did you figure it out that technology is not a cost center but it is a revenue center a profit center so goldy was the company which installed the first computer in the year 1988 and my father and uncle had an option to buy a new scooter or a computer they bought the computer oh. <laughs> lovely so that ingredient of technology was already inculcated in the organization by elder and the bill gates book business at the speed of thought it says the data should chase you and you should not chase the data and that is where we have been ardent enough to ensure to adopt technology as it comes the distributors the sales team they are never paranoid that this technology is here to pinpoint their mistakes they know the technology is here to help them to grow and this is where uh, technology always initially is an expense yeah. but how to our use of technology we convert this into an investment is on us i think it was a fantastic uh, having you here subhit and uh, i personally enjoyed it a lot and wish you all the best for your future endeavors and uh, proud to be your partner in this journey thanks a lot